Hi everybody, well, I've had a good week. Um, what a fantastic week. I've, you know, I really do love what I can do when I go in to speak to clients, but get into patients, speaking to patients. So this week I've been discussing Christmas offers with them, letting them taste the food. Oh, what a fantastic, fantastic uh, feedback uh, from both clients and um, patients. You know, it's all about the patient laying in the bed. Roy Lilly always used to say to me, and he's absolutely 100%, if you follow Roy on his vlogs, because he is absolutely, his daily blog is absolutely fantastic. But, you know, get to the patient bedside and walk backwards. Put yourselves in their shoes and walk this backward route. That's what we've done with two of these, one of these, listened. And, you know, the Christmas offer was well, well thing. I'm from, obviously, Turkey. Yes, of course it's on the menu. But we actually showed them a really fantastic dish that uh, some development chefs have done for the Idzi um, Easy Chew, which has been outstanding. So none of this minced turkey what can look, well, not nice on a plate. How do you make minced turkey look nice? It's very difficult, but they've cracked it. And, you know, variation on a mince pie. So, yeah, fantastic. And then, yeah, that, that's what inspires me going on to the patients, talking to patients, listening, you know, and then going from there. They're working on um, some uh, other projects that I've got in my mind, because um, I'm going to be talking to uh, Sophie's Legacy, to Charlotte, her mum, who's so absolutely 100% inspirational. Wow, you know, I, I can't, it's, it's, it is unbelievable what... Uh, Charlotte has done and you know for Sophie who's suddenly not with the Sophie built there now but looking down beaming away and that and it is absolutely we should be catering for parents when their children are in a hospital whether it's for two days four days four weeks four months we need to be there and make sure they've got something so at least one of the parents or grandparents or brothers or sisters can actually eat with the child while they're in hospital and not leave them it's an anxious time and you know Charlotte is doing that it's absolutely fantastic and I can't say enough about that um, then um, on that we've been Idzi I went to the Idzi conference on uh, thing, and I'd like to say a big shout out to the team at Idzi Peter Ben and also the UK team who really set that up made it happen Neil Radia, Sophie, Andrew Callum, the fantastic team there. You did a great, great, superb job. Can't thank you enough. I learn every day is a school day and certainly on the Idzy day. You know, the one thing I have learned is it's about shapes, not about blobs on plates. You've got to have that shape, but you've got to challenge yourself again. Put yourself in the patient's shoes and walk backwards. Think, use two of these, one of these, but think. Think nothing's impossible, you know that. And these guys are doing it. I've got some exciting work around nutrition and hydration week, and I'm really, really, really excited for what we're going to be doing. Watch out for the afternoon too this year, because it is totally going to be all encompassing, dignity for all, and we are going to go global on it. I've already had countries who have not participated before wanting to participate this year. So some fantastic links up there. We're also doing things with Fair Share. So again, look at this, how we can work together. And and that, that's really been the week for me. It's been about patience, which it should be for anybody working in the NHS. It's all about the patients in the bedside. Sadly, I had to turn down because of my forthcoming op. I was due to go up and speak at a fringe event on uh, GBS, the food strategy, how we can implement it, what we need to do as public sector caterers. No, so not just with my NHS, that's up with the wider remit of public sector. Exciting times ahead, a long time to go, but we will get there. We've got to support our British farmers, and that's what I love British food is about. Alexia Robinson and the team are simply superb. We need to get the message out there. 
you know, when you're in your shops, at, when you're shopping at home, look at that product. Does it come from the UK? Should I, which one shall I buy? And think about that. Support your farming, support your local community, and let's make this happen. Look, you're, you, it's about choice. I know that. You know, and you, you're not going to see some products grow in this country because our climate is not there. And certainly today and the last two days, it's not been there, has it? So let's work together. It's about the patient laying in the bed, exciting times ahead. And I'll actually be a patient. I'm scared stiff, but I'm going to be a patient. Not of anything about what I'm going to be doing. It's the operation I've got. You know, I'm, I'm terrified. You know, this, this is Bravo down underneath. It's like a swan gliding at them, all this. But think patient, exciting times, take care all, and I'll update you from my bedside when I'm able or can about where I am. Take care.